let's discuss question number 16 this says a school is located between two cliffs when the metal well is struck by school attendant first echo is heard by him after 2.4 seconds and the second echo follows after two seconds for him at the same position near the bell if the velocity of the sound is 340 meter per second at the temperature of the surroundings then the distance between the cliffs is approximately again a pretty simple question based on the formula that is formation of echo so here basically two echoes are formed so if i say that the distance between the two cliffs is a d okay let us suppose these are the two cliffs and here it's the position of the school okay and if i say that the distance is d we are not saying that it is lying exactly in between the cliffs so if this distance is d1 this is going to be d2 and this d is going to be the sum of these two okay so i can calculate see t1 is going to be 2 d1 by v and t1 is 2.4 seconds so this is 2.4 is equal to 2 d1 by 340 and this gives me d1 as 340 into 2.4 divided by 2 similarly i can calculate d2 also in the case of d2 this will be 340 into in this case what is going to be time see here t2 is not going to be 2 second this is going to be 2.4 plus 2 okay so this will be 340 into 2.4 plus 2 because in the question it is clearly mentioned see and the second echo follows after 2 seconds so it means it follows after 2 seconds from 2.4 seconds so you need to add these two so when you will calculate d1 will come out to be 408 this will come out to be 748 so d is 408 plus 748 that is 1156 meter which is approximately 1.16 kilometer so if you have a look onto the options you can clearly see option c is the correct option let me just put this into the box also so i hope this question is very clear to you let's proceed towards the discussion for the next question hey so now here i have question number 17 on the board which is interesting question from the chapter light this says the radius of curvature of a convex mirror is x so what is going to be the focal length that is going to be x by 2 the distance of an object from the focus of the mirror is y then what is the distance of image from the focus okay let's solve this question again a pretty simple question but there is some confusion in the language of the question and i hope most of the student would have stuck there okay so now here so this is my convex mirror and this is a principal axis this is my focus now this says let us suppose this is my object okay so my object is lying here as per the question this distance that is the distance of the object from the focus is given to us as y we are given the radius as x so what is going to be this focal length that is going to be x by 2 so what is going to be this object distance this is going to be y minus x by 2 now we need to apply mirror formula to calculate the image distance okay so 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u so when you will be substituting the values this will be 1 upon x by 2 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by this is y minus x by 2 on solving it further you will be getting 2 by x is equal to 1 by v minus 2 by 2y minus x okay so 1 by v will be 
2 by x plus I can take it to the other side 2 by 2 y minus x I can take 2 common in the bracket I will be left with 1 by x plus 1 by 2 y minus x on solving it further I will be getting 2 I will take the LCM in the numerator I will be having 2 y minus x plus x and this gives me 1 by v is equal to 4 y divided by x into 2 y minus x. So, v will come out to be x 2 y minus x divided by 4 y. But here in this question we need to find out the distance of the image from the focus ok and here we have find out the distance of the image from the pole of the mirror. So, our answer is not done this distance that is the distance between the pole and the focus is x by 2 and we know in this case image is going to be formed in between pole and the focus ok. So, I can write distance of the image from the focus is equal to x by 2 minus this v ok. So, this will be 8 y 4 x y minus 4 x y minus 2 x square that is plus 2 x square ok. Now, these two get cancelled out and this comes out to be x square by 4 y. So, if you have a look at the options let us see which option is the correct option that is x square by 4 y. So, c option is the correct option let us just put this into the box. So, I hope this question is also very clear to you let us move on to the discussion for the next question. Hey, so now here I have this question number 18 which was from the chapter gravitation class 9th and this is from the flotation part this says a piece of ice is floating in water at 4 degree Celsius. In a beaker when the ice melts completely the water level in the beaker will. Let us try to solve this question. See we know in this case ice is floating. So, we need to apply the condition for floating. So, that is V dg is equal to V prime dg. Now, here this V prime is the immersed volume. of ice V is the total volume D is the density of ice and this D is the density of water or in other words I can write this as for better understanding V rho ice is equal to V prime rho water at 4 degree Celsius ok. So, here the water at 4 degree Celsius. So, I can write this V prime as V rho ice by rho water at 4 degree Celsius ok. Now, when the ice will melt there is going to be the volume ok. So, volume if you need to find out that will simply be equal to mass upon density that is mass of ice upon density of water at 0 degree Celsius because now 
the water or the ice has melt so it has converted into water at 0 degree celsius so that's why i have written the density of water at 0 degree celsius now how can i write down the mass of ice mass of ice will be equal to its volume into density so that will be volume of ice into density of ice upon rho water at 0 degree celsius now if you will just compare these two this is v melted okay and this is v immersed i can also write here as immersed okay so you can compare these two v immersed and v melted now you can compare these two and see that this is inversely proportional to the density of water okay now density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius and it is going to be less at 0 degree celsius so i can simply write as rho at 0 degree celsius is less than rho at 4 degree celsius so as this is less so this is going to be more as the inverse relation is there okay so hence the volume is going to increase okay so in this case there is going to be the rise in the water level i hope that is clear to you why this is happening let me just put this result into the box i hope this question is pretty clear to you let's move on to the next question quickly